the family of the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazi Inamdi Kanu, has issued a 40-day ultimatum to Finland-based self-acclaimed dis disciple of Mazi Unamdi Kanu, Mazi Simon Ekpa, to cease using the name or the image of Kanu in its broadcast or fundraising. Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria. This is where we give you hot, fresh and sizzling news all day long. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and click on the subscribe button down below. Also, give this video a thumbs up. Most importantly, click on the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we post. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the details of today's news. The family of a detained leader of the uh, indigenous people of Biafra, Mazi Namdi Kanu, has issued a 14-day ultimatum to Finland-based self-acclaimed disciple of Mazi Namdi Kanu, whose name is Mazi Simon Ekpa, to cease using the name or the image of Kanu in his broadcast or fundraising. Kanu's letter, in a letter by its Anthony Magnus Johnson, dated May 17, 2022, threatened to commence legal action against Mazi Ekpa if he failed to comply with the demands of the letter. The family also demanded that Ekpa should desist from making defamatory comments against members of the family. Below is a full text of the letter titled a demand to cease and desist from using the name of Mazi Enamdi Kanu for material gain etc. The letter goes as follows. Dear Mr. Ekpa, the Kanu family both in Nigeria and in the diaspora has retained on the signed to formally demand from you as follows that you should forthwith cease and desist from using the name and image of Mazi Namdi Kanu either in your broadcast or otherwise for any material gain whatsoever including any fundraising that you should forthwith cease and desist from addressing yourself as a disciple of Mazi Namdi Kanu, either in the guise of you being a member of IPOB, which we are informed you are not, or in any other manner relating to Bihafra agitation, that you should forthwith cease and desist from any further defamatory publications against any member of a Kano family, whether such publications are personally altered by you or by others that you invite to your social media networks, that you are hereby given 14 days from the confirmed receipts of this legal mail within which to comply with the demands in this letter that your failure or refusal to comply with the demands herein will result in costly legal actions against you including but not limited to the following a direct criminal complaint against you to finish authorities or to any European country in which you are encountered. B. Tortures and injunctive claims against you for the civil injuries enumerated above. C. Petitions against you to the Finnish authorities that regulate legal practice such as you are currently applying in Finland. Finally, you are hereby warned 
that this legal mail constitutes a pre-action notice that no further formal warnings will be forthcoming to you before our commencement of the foregoing legal actions against you. Thank you for your anticipated cooperation in the regards of the content of this legal mail. High Pope has severally accused Ekpa of inciting the current path of violence in the Southeast, saying that his actions are not in congruence with the philosophy of the movement, which believes in Bihafra restoration through non-violence. Hmm. I so much applaud um, this mail or the people that sent the mail to this man because I have been wondering a lot of people who are not, I don't know, not until this mail where I didn't even know wasn't associated with Biafra on Instagram, Facebook, especially YouTube, on this platform, you know, giving, doing different videos, especially those that are not even based in Nigeria. Especially those who are based in other countries who do not even know what is currently happening in the country, who do not even know what the current situation of the ES, ESN or um, IPOB or Biafra situation is in the, eastern part, in, in the eastern part of Nigeria. They don't know all that, but yet you see them releasing videos every now and then instigating people ignorant people also you know inciting people and i am actually glad that these people said that they wanted um biafra they want they wanted the biafra country they want the agitation non-violently i am so happy for that for that clause there because in recent times especially this um few this past few weeks there have been a lot of you know a lot of heightened tension around this Biafra, you know, Are was saying this be Are was saying Biafra killed um one of one of um Diaz. I pope also, you know, responding with their own tracts and so on. So I'm actually really glad that these people are coming out to say that the agitation they want their Biafra agitation to be non-violent which is the key word that i picked from the statement that is in the mail that they sent to this man a lot i even saw there was this documentary that i saw that was talking about you know most of all these people these so-called activists in quotes this so-called biafra agitation ad agitators in quotes who are not even based in nigeria most of them are based in other european countries from there, they do their videos. From there, they instigate people. And especially for this man now, doing fundraising, you know, collecting money from innocent people, saying that they are from Mazen and the Kalno, and which is not the truth. You know, a lot of people will believe all the lies. They will even cook up stories just to make their videos seem interesting to people so that they will get a lot of clicks, a lot of, you know, watch. People that are not this is not even only limited to biafra now there are a lot of you know so-called activists they are not based in nigeria who will cook up stories non-existent non-existent stories just for people to be able to click and watch them just for them to be able to trend you know we are in the social media age where trending is a thing likes people do anything for likes followership and the likes i'm so happy for the move that um the 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 uh, Mazenam the Kano family have just made on this man. Hopefully, we'll see them, you know, write to other people's other people like this man to cease and desist from whatever they've been doing. Let me know what you think in the comment section, guys. If you haven't subscribed, this is a, a very good opportunity for you to subscribe because I know you love the video you just finished watching. Hit on the like button. Most importantly, click on the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we post. We still have more great videos coming your way today. Please stay with us.